I've driven the TRX. Hell yeah! I've become a rally driver. Bloody good, I am! And I've shown Martin who's boss. This car was built for speed. Now it's time for me to get my hands dirty. Mike's lined up a day on the tools at the smallest cog, probably to work on something really cool. An old Porsche, maybe a Jaguar, who knows? Rover 620 Ti, first thoughts, go. It's beautiful, amazing, fantastic, I love it. Came in blue, one of the nicest colours. Anyway, you said to me at the start of the year, one of the things you want to do is get more stuck into cars, become a bit more of a petrohead. There's nothing better than getting on the tools. So I'll hand you over to Isaac, there's so many jobs to do on this car. Good luck. Thank you very much. The list Mike left me with was a hose kit, a service, coilovers and modified fog lights. Right, first things first, we're going to do a hose change in the engine bay. What's a hose? So, there are all the pipes that run all the cooling and all the turbo lines, because it's turbo, and Michael tell how fast it goes. Um, right. But we're going to put shiny purple ones on there, um, which obviously add horsepower. Um, and also, because of the age of the car, they'll be all cracked and old, so a bit of an upgrade. OK, we can do that. Yeah, yeah easy. OK, let's do it. Whereabouts... Where is that? Look at me, being a mechanic. Whilst Izzy got started on the 620, I had some important Rover-related errands to run. My first errand is interior. There's going to be quite a change to this Rover's insight. By the way, have you seen this car? We've started a new channel called More Drive Tribe, and this is a site project we've got going on. A £600 barn find that we bought from Otto Alex. If you want to watch these videos, link in description to our second channel, More Drive Tribe. Upholstery. Well, it's simply impossible. If you were working on your car, these would all come off really nicely, but because these have been on here since Because this is a new, rust bucket. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I'd send up to Mike as well. Yeah. Very important with an older car to check your hoses and change them. Check your hoses. Even I could tell that the Mighty Rover was in dire need of some new hoses. Apparently, you can't actually buy them anymore. But luckily, Mike said that the guys at Samco had hooked us up with a brand new custom kit designed specifically for this car. And they're purple. I guess that's kind of cool. It was now time to service the Rover, and Drive Tribe MD Dave had a special delivery just for us, with the sponsors of today's video, Liquid Molly, supplying all of these fluids. Right, so now that's done, we're going to start with the service, and we're going to start off with some motor clean engine flush. Right, what on earth is that? Okay, so we put this in the engine, we leave yes. it running for 10 minutes, and this helps clean all the carbon deposits out, so then the engine's a lot cleaner for the new oil. Fine, we can okay. do that. So with this, it's recommended to do it every service. Service it as normal, but this just helps clean everything out. Okay. So now we're going to start it up and leave it running for 10 minutes. Okay, let's do it. The idea is this thing's going to come off. Is yeah, it? so that will unscrew. So if you leave pressure on it, then it will come off and just place it in there. Is it all going to like gush out? Possibly, yeah. Right, brilliant. There right. you go, and that's the oil filter off. So we'll wait for that to drain. Did it. And then build it all back up again and put some fresh oil in. Nice oil. That was like diffusing a bomb. And I'm not a bomb expert, so that was a bit scary. But I've done it. Easy. Professional. Right, so we're ready to put fluids back in. And we're going to start off with Ceratec, right. which is a ceramic anti-wear and friction additive, which helps keep the engine nice and healthy and running smooth. And this is really good stuff. Turns out you can help an engine further by whacking in some oil additive. Isn't Mike's Rover lucky? So now, we're on with the oil. One Rover serviced. Thanks again to Liquid Molly for sponsoring today's video. That's it. Look at that, nice 
turbo noise. Ooh. All the power. Yeah. All done. You normally put the date on those. It's fine. Okay. Don't need it. All right, on to the next job. Let's do it. Next up were what I call spring things, or Isaac calls coilovers. Things were starting to get a little bit tricky. It's a little bit more complicated than I thought it was going to be. I think the answer is just take it to a garage and let them do it. I don't know why people bother doing it on their own. So these bolts that we're taking out here, they hold the top of the shock absorber into this. This is the suspension turret. The turret? Yeah, so that stops it moving. Right, OK, um, I so get So that you. just holds it in place. So when you go over a jump, say the front end was lifted by the car, it stops it all moving. OK, cool. There you go. I did it. That's the first one down. Nice. This looks really old and gross. Let's put some shiny new ones yeah, on. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get rid of this. Perfect, through. you've done that before. Very clever, isn't it? A few more. Bit more. That's it. Perfect. Right, I would say that is now tight. Yep, that's good. Okay, one done. That wasn't too bad, actually. You I reckon enjoyed we can that? do that again. You're an expert now, though. Yeah, I'm going to do the next one so quick. That's it, just 10 minutes next one, start to finish. Okay, let's do it. I'm ready. <laughs> We installed the other three BC Racing coilovers, which apparently allow Mike to lower his car. I have no idea why you'd want to do that, but there you go. Right, a little side job we've got to do is Mike wants his fog lights, because these are all rusted out before, he's managed to find some brand new ones. He wants them painted uh, yellow. Why does he want them yellow? He wants to make it more Japanese. So and he that's wants to what do, he's going for. Yeah, but he wants to do a French JDM modification. Right, that's very so, Mike, isn't it? Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't know what he's doing, but I'm not, I didn't ask questions. OK, so. we'll just do it for him, shall now, we? Now, um, this is like nail polish okay. or nail varnish. I can work with so that. So you've got a small brush, but that's all I could find. OK, I'm going to take that small so, brush. Good luck sure with you that big one. Do the same thing. Can you pour a bit on mine? Yeah, is that safe? I don't know. OK, we'll don't, see. Don't get it on your new overalls, though. Yeah, true, 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 true. What happens if I mess this up? Um, apparently, Mike said they're really rare and expensive. And apparently, the Rover community are like, this is this is bad that we're doing this. It feels this. really wrong. It, um, it felt bad. I felt bad for about three seconds, and then I carried on. Um, I know you're meant to be the professional, but I'm going to say mine's better. I mean, you know, from 20 foot, mine looks good. Yeah, but up close, yours is covered in brush strokes, but mine is perfection. I know, but I used a trowel, didn't I? So. You did basically use a trowel, and I used like a nail varnish. Yours thing. does look better, but we won't tell Mike. I think no. it'll be fine. Just... It'll be fine. We'll let them dry, and he'll never know. No, no, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, fine. perfect. Okay. You guys may remember in the last video with the Rover, I said I wanted to retrim the interior. And we are here at Mid England Retrims. Here is the 620's interior. Thompson Blue Tartan. I messaged Scotland Shop, who are a place based in the borders, and they have pretty much any tartan you want. And we went through this amazing process of them sending me swatches of different colours, different designs of tartan, and I settled on this Thompson Blue. I think it's the closest to the Rover's body colour, but Adrian here at Mid England Retrims has said you don't want to fully colour match because then the interior could just kind of blend in with the rest of the car. So this is not quite there, but it should really stand out and make this car super unique. My favourite bit of this whole interior, I mean the seats are amazing and most of the work's gone into them. Look at my gear knob. How cool is that? I cannot wait to have this installed in the car and be changing gear with it. There is one more seat to trim, so we're gonna hand over to Adrian here and he's gonna show us how it's done. I'm super excited to see this interior installed in my 620. 
If you'd like to get a custom tartan interior for your car, we'll put a link in the description so you can check out Scotland Shop and all the designs they have to offer. This is a process I had never seen before, and with this tartan, we were merging old school material with very old school technology. The old Rover seat was carefully unstitched, preserving the side bolster leather, which was then married up to the fresh seat material. My interior is now tartaned. Back to the cog. Look at that, what a transformation. Yeah. It's a whole new car. Izzy, you look like a mechanic. You're standing like a mechanic. Yeah. Have you had a good time? I have, yeah. I've enjoyed it. I've learnt stuff. Yes. I know more how a car works, kind of. Do you reckon if we just plonked you here with another car and we're like, right, do a set of coilovers, do this, do a full service, do you reckon you could give it a good go? No. No? Absolutely not. I'd try, but I'd get, I think I would get it wrong. I think I need a little bit more practice. The thing is, I've totally been in your position. Like, I've, I need all the help I can get mm. with all the mechanics. But at the end of the day, you realise it's just nut and bolts and a bit of confidence, really. Exactly. It's not that hard. Exactly. I can, I can do this. OK, so you may one day again get stuck and get your overalls back on and yeah. work on some cars. I can see myself doing that, sure. Right, well, I gather you're off somewhere pretty cool. I, I, yeah, I've you got to go. You are bailing out right now. I've got to go, so I'm going to leave you with this. Do you want to tell the audience where you're off to? Um, yeah, I could do. I'm going. I'm just popping down to Red Bull headquarters. Yeah, just, just you know. Yeah, just pop in there just for some exciting stuff. Red Bull, stuff. Formula One HQ. Yeah. Hang just, out with Max. Yeah, we'll Perez. be able to chat. Yeah. Okay. Very exciting, but I'm going to give you these. Thank you very much. Because this is your problem now. Yeah, I've got a few more jobs to do, and then this project will be finished. But genuinely, thank you very much. The car looks so much better. Those pipes are sick. You're so welcome. These are the cars. I think they're really cute. Izzy went off to rub shoulders with the stars of F1 and secure her seat for the 2025 season, while Isaac and I cracked on with fitting the fresh interior. So why have I picked this specific tartan for the seat? Well, there's the blue to coincide with the car's paint, yellow to match my new fogs, and white for the last modification of the day. If you'd like to see Reggie in real life, I'll be taking it to a bunch of events this year, like Pride of Longbridge, but more importantly, Drive Tribe Live on the 23rd of June. Get your tickets through the link in the description. The interior is in and it looks epic. I'm so happy with that. And these are the final touch going on my Rover. Thanks to our good mates at Torque GT, they have sourced these wheels from Japan. They're Advan racing wheels, and I wanted to go for that BTCC style. I love a white wheel, and these are gonna look awesome. With those coilovers, this car is gonna sit really nicely. And they're shod in brand new Bridgestone Taranza six tires that were fitted at the local Quick Fit. I'm gonna love this car once it's done. I cannot wait to take it for a drive. I get to drive it home today, fingers crossed. Let's get these on. I set out for this thing to be a bit Japanese because of its Honda Accord relationship, but also be a bit of me with the Scottish tartan interior. I love how unique this 620Ti looks inside now. All this car needs to be fully finished is some centre caps for the Advan wheels and some painted calipers to match those fresh rims. My aim with this car was to make Rover great again and my aim in this video was to get Izzy on the tools. And I'd like to think we've accomplished both. If you would like to watch other videos from this Reggie project, click here. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I've been Mike, and don't forget to subscribe to Drive Tribe. I love this car.